My Greyhound eats too fast. One of the hallmarks of a first-time Greyhound owner is that he is astounded at how fast his Greyhound eats. If your dog does so, should you be concerned? If your Greyhound eats too fast, you can keep him safe by making sure he doesn't choke or bloat, which can often be fatal. Many Greyhounds eat fast without any problems. If, however, yours tends to choke, cough, spit up, or burp excessively during or after eating, he may be swallowing air. In this case, slow him down with a different feeding system and a calmer environment. Today you're going to learn how fast is too fast and what you can do about it. My Greyhound Shannon used to wolf down his food in two minutes flat. One could actually see the outline of each unchewed mouthful rolling down his gullet in tennis ball sized lumps. Then he'd lie down on his bed, gaze at me gratefully, let out a modest burp, and stretch out for a good nap. He was a very low-key dog, so none of this was done with any frenzy. Don't, get it the, don't take me the wrong way. It was all very methodical, and we never had a problem. So the first thing you want to do is assess whether your dog is eating in a rush, or if he's merely a model of efficiency like our Shannon was. Above all, make sure your greyhound relaxes for a good hour after eating. That shouldn't be too tough. Never release him into the yard or allow him to play right after eating. Hazards of a greyhound who eats too fast. Choking and vomiting are the most obvious concerns here. A lesser concern with greyhounds is that the unchewed food won't absorb as well and he'll miss out on important nutrients. This last one, though a problem for many breeds, doesn't tend to present itself all that often with greyhounds. The two things which are more problematic are taking in too much food at once and swallowing air. These are the two chief things that can lead to bloat, a fast-paced medical emergency where the stomach twists inside the greyhound's big rib cage. Typically, swallowing air is harmless. Most greyhounds, if they do swallow air, will do like my Shannon, lumber to his bed, lay down gently, and release that air in one easy burp. If he's active, however, a stomach full of air and food is a bloat hazard. I want to stress that bloat is not common in greyhounds. It is, however, extremely dangerous and often fatal, which is why every single greyhound owner should know how to prevent it and what its symptoms are. So here are the symptoms of bloat. The chief ones to watch out for are, according to the AKC, a dog with true GDV, which is the, another, which is the medical name for it, will retch and vomit will retch and vomit mostly foam, rarely will vomit actual food. So you want to look for the foam. And if you see him vomiting foam but no food, call the vet right then and there at that symptom. Do not wait and see if he improves. Also, his back may arch while his head goes down and his stomach may be distended and painful. How to deal with a dog who eats too fast. It's important to keep in mind that this is not a retired racer thing. Dr. Marty Becker, DVM, states that the instinct to eat as much as possible, as quickly as possible, is so strong in some breeds and some individual dogs that they can actually make themselves ill. Eating too fast can be a hazardous behavior for any deep-chested dog, for the reason I mentioned above with the bloat. So, just add water. Far and away, the healthiest solution for slowing down that wolfing is to add 8 to 10 ounces of water to your greyhound's food. This will keep him from getting those huge mouthfuls of food. He'll have to lap it up, which will slow him down naturally. It also has the side benefit of adding water to his diet, which can be really difficult for this breed, who are notoriously poor drinkers. Smaller, more frequent feedings. Years ago, our vet advised me to break up Peach's meal into two daily feedings because she had trouble with her digestion. This really helped a lot, and I've done this with my greyhounds ever since. If I need to crate my dog because I'm going to be away for the day, I'll actually break it into three even smaller feedings so she won't be lying around with a full tummy or a lot of food pushing on her bowels. Try a change in bowl. This could mean literally a change in the bowl. A very popular solution to slow down a speed eater is to place a couple of large, clean stones in the dog's bowl. Having to work around the stones will slow him down and make him take smaller bites as well. Be sure to choose stones that are definitely too big for him to swallow and give them a thorough cleaning before and after using them. They may even be dishwasher safe. Speaking of cleaning, some owners use tennis balls instead, which I think is a little unhygienic. I mean, how would you keep them sanitary? Throw them in the washer? I don't know. You can also change to this new type of bowl. 
Many owners use a spiral slow feeding bowl. This bowl comes in several different patterns, but the spiral seems to be the favorite among greyhound owners. It's a plastic bowl with a raised structure inside around which the dog has to eat. The same idea as the rocks, basically. There are two problems with the spiral bowl. First, they cost about $17 each, and who wants to have just one bowl to feed your greyhound out of? Second, the bowl's made out of plastic, which I consider an inferior choice for any pet's bowl. Plastic is very prone to scratches, which can harbor dangerous bacteria. If you'd like to learn more about what's lurking in those scratches, by the way, and how it could harm your greyhound, check out this video, and I've linked to the article below. It's a large resource about preventing UTIs. My final issue with the spiral bowl is that if you use a feeding stand, it won't fit. Hey, speaking of feeding stands, I ran into an interesting tidbit of information while researching for this video and article. There is, apparently, some controversy as to whether raised stand feeding is helpful or harmful. Yes, you heard right. Hey, stick around, and I'm going to fill you in on that in just a few minutes. Next, let's talk about a better dining environment for a nervous greyhound. Dr. Laura Sullivan, MRCVS, says that stressed, nervous, or more excitable dogs are more prone to be speed eaters. In particular, ensure mealtimes are as calm as possible, and try to avoid competition between dogs while eating. My last two greyhounds have been fast eaters simply because they really enjoy their food. Peaches, however, was an entirely different story. She was a spook. That's a greyhound who is genetically have of a fearful disposition. She hated eating in front of people and would blast through her food and then skitter away as quickly as possible. In her case, the solution was to find for her a quiet little nook where she could dine undisturbed. This worked very well for Peaches. It's also recommended if you have multiple dogs who are creating a chaotic eating situation. Let's talk about when to call the vet. As mentioned before, call right away if you ever suspect bloat. Your vet, I'm telling you right now, will absolutely make time for you immediately if there's any possibility of bloat. They know all about this condition, and better safe than sorry. Another case in which you should call your vet is if your dog has eaten a very large quantity at once, especially of any type of dry food. Dry foods such as kibble can expand dangerously in his stomach, so that's what you want to think of if your dog accidentally gets into his supply of food. Some greyhounds will stop themselves, but some won't. In this case, your vet may tell you to use hydrogen peroxide to induce vomiting. If he does, ask him to recommend the amount and then break out the turkey baster, but never do this without direct medical guidance. Let's get back to that raised feeding thing I was telling you about, good or bad. What was once considered the gold standard in feeding our greyhounds has now been called into question. The only problem is, nobody seems to know by whom or what the source. I'm serious. I ran into this quote over and over saying, quote, current or recent research has showed that raised feeding is more, not less, of a choking hazard to your dog, end quote. Folks, I've been using a raised feeding stand for over 20 years. My first greyhound seemed uncomfortable eating from floor level, so I bought one. Peaches was always a bit of a picky eater, and this actually did help somewhat. I think gravity would dictate that having a deep-chested dog pitched forward and down would actually be more of a problem. This logic, and the fact that the, quote, findings are nowhere to be found, are the reason that I will be keeping my raised feeding stand. Thank you. For arthritic or older greyhounds, raised feeding is clearly more comfortable. If you've ever seen your greyhound's front legs quiver when they bend to the floor, you'd know this is obvious. I have a few more resources for you if you're having this problem with your dog. Over at the Greyhound Home Care website, you can link to three more articles. This one has more from the AKC on speed eaters. It's called Four Ways to Slow Down Your Dog's Eating. This one's by Dr. Marty Becker, who I mentioned earlier, and is called My Dog Inhales Her Food, How Can I Get Her to Slow Down? And then Dr. Laura Sullivan, MRCVS, has one about life and death, GDV or bloat. Plus, this great shirt in several colors, featured now at the Greyhound Home Care Store, linked below, in addition to our giving tea. Please consider buying the giving tea to help support Greyhound adoption. See you next time on the Greyhound Home Care Channel.